Hi, I'm making a birthday cake this morning for my youngest son. He's turning 40 and I'm using my grandmother's recipe. And um, this is called the chocolate cake made in a jiffy. And you can, I'll show you, you can see the recipe right here, how old it is. I got my thumb on it. Very, very old. Okay. So I'm going to read you the ingredients and then we're going to whip it up. One egg, one cup of sugar, a half a cup of cocoa, a half a cup of shortening, one teaspoon of soda, one and a half cups of sifted flour, one teaspoon of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of milk, and a half a cup of boiling water. Put the ingredients together. And you're going to mix it in a bowl in the order given. You're going to mix it vigorously. Then you're going to put it in an oven at 350. And you're going to bake that for 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. Just pouring out some hot water here. And we're going to get ready to go. So here we have it. And there's the hot water right here. Excuse my reach, please, while I get this. Okay, first we're gonna put the egg in. Now you wanna put this in according to, um, in order, according to the recipe. Then you want, a, we got the egg, then we need the sugar. One cup of sugar. Then we need the half a cup of cocoa, right here. Then we need the shortening, which is a half a cup of shortening. Whoops. Doing this a lot left-handed. I'm a right-handed person. I can do both, but I'm better right than I am left. There we go, just like that. There's a little bit more in here. I say we get what we can out. Okay. Just like that. Now we need the baking soda. That's right here. Remember, it's all going in. Then we need the flour. Uh, let's see here. Cup and a half on the flour. Just like that. I like to try to keep things kind of neat, so I like to pick up as a Pick up as I can go. Okay, then we need vanilla. It's a teaspoon that, and I use uh, Mexican vanilla. I like it. It's got a great flavor. It's got a very good smell. And then salt. I use Himalayan pink salt, but you don't have to. That's just what I use. And half a cup of milk. Today I'm using regular whole milk, but it, it doesn't matter. I've made it with others. And a half a cup of boiling water, which is right here. I'm just going to bring this down so you can see it. Just like that. Now I'm going to move these over to the side to give me some room. Just like that. How's everybody doing today? Well, I hope. And I'm trying to figure which side I guess I'll work on this side. Just like this. So we'll, let's start the mixer up. And we're going to mix it all together. There. You 
don't want to over mix batters because it just doesn't do well if you over mix everything. I think I'm going to make these in cupcakes. Normally I make a cake with us, but seems it's going to my son's home and there'll be kids there. Um, they like to grab and go and I don't blame them. That's the easiest for them. So I have a cupcake pan right here. This one holds 28. I mean 24, excuse me. I don't think, excuse me, I don't think we're gonna get 24, but whatever we get, we get and be thankful for it. As you can see, this is a wonderful batter. It really works out great. Again, I like to use ice cream scoops and I'm using only about, mm, about half tried about half in the ice cream scoop. I'm going to be doing uh, frosting. It will be, half of it will be um, vanilla and the other half will be peanut butter. My son likes peanut butter, but the kids don't like peanut butter. So we gotta make everybody happy, even though it's my son's birthday like that. Well, the sun's out here in Maine today and it's going to be in its 60s, which is nice. Been having beautiful weather. We've had a couple killing frost. I don't know about you folks. How's the weather in your area? Just like that. There we go. Should have got maybe my smaller ice cream scoop. Yeah, I didn't figure it was going to give me 24. I don't believe. But that's okay. It gives me whatever it gives me. Be thankful for it. Like I said, normally I make this into a 9 by 13 cake. That's what my grandmother always used it. Grandmother was a great cook. She had to back in the day in the Depression times. Let's just scrape the bowl down just a little bit. Just like that. I think this will be the last one we got. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen cupcakes. Yeah, maybe we can squeeze one more. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. I try to use all I've got here. Scrape that bowl right down. Some more here. Just like that. Don't think we're going to get another one. We'll get just a small one. That would be great for a tester. Perfect. And we'll just stick it right in. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Save it. That didn't go very well now, did it? Oh well, live footage here, so whatever you see is whatever you see. I don't cut too much out of my videos because I'm not perfect. Yeah. We'll use that as the test one. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I don't know anybody that is. And if they are, I'm just like, my hat's off to you. That's great. Okay, I'm going to let it go like this. We're going to put it in the oven. The oven is already ready. So I'll bring you back when they're all done. Okay, you can see that this came out of the oven. And they look absolutely beautiful. Perfect. 
Um, if you're doing cupcakes, I would go about 24, 22 minutes. Okay, I'm going to read the ingredients off from Better Homes and Gardens, the new cookbook. And um, this is a creamy white frosting. You can see I've used it many times. When I use something, I give it a grade. And if I don't grade it, that means I don't use it. Okay, so this is the frosting here. It's, um, I've already got it made. And it's in my piping bag with a 1M um, tip from Wilton. So here's the ingredients. One cup of shortening, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, um, four and a half cups of sifted powdered sugar, and three or four tablespoons of milk or whatever you like to your consistency. So there you have it right there. And let's start piping. I'm gonna put these little cute fall leaves on. They come in a container like this. I paid $1.99 at the Christmas tree shop, and that's not bad for that amount. So let's get started. We're going to take this cupcake. I'll do a few for you, and we're going to pipe it. I just want to make sure I'm right on cue here, just like this. There. And then we're going to take a few of these little sprinkles. And we're gonna put them on top. So here you have homemade frosting, homemade cupcake mix right there. Isn't that pretty? I'll do a couple more, then I'll bring you back. I'm not gonna do heavy jimmies because I'm not sure if my, um, family will like jimmies. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I'll pipe it just like that. I'll just go along like this. Pipe it. And then we got the one here on the end that's a little test run, so I'm just going to do that. Pipe it just like that. Just like that. Then I'll finish them and I'll decorate them and I'll bring you back. Okay, there you have it folks right there. They're all done up really nice and they're all packaged up to go to my son's for his birthday. Um, I like to say happy birthday, Chris. He's a good young man. And if you like this video, please give me thumbs up. You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. You never know what's on my videos. Have a great day. God bless.